Hello and welcome everyone to another edition of Coach's Corner. Zach By sitting down with Trevor Gorman, the head men's soccer coach here at the University at Albany. Coach, congrats. Back-to-back uh, -back shutouts, 1-0 against URI, and you go back on the road 2-0 against George Mason. Big victories for you this early in the season. Yeah, it's nice to get those wins early on and build confidence amongst the group. You know, the, the early part of the season is always feeling each other out. Teams come together, they, they're still coming out of preseason, you're still growing, you're integrating new parts, you're working with returning guys, some of them in different roles. So we're by no means what we want to be yet, but it's nice to win along the way and build that confidence. And certainly going down to George Mason was a fantastic result for us. They're a really good program that's had a track record of success being a top 50 RPI team. And to beat them on the road and to do it in the way that we did was very pleasing. You play URI, A-10 opponent, George Mason, A-10 opponent. You got UMass coming up, another A-10 opponent. If you can get back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back wins against teams in that league, you talk about confidence, it's going to be sky high, right? Yeah, absolutely. I wish I could say I planned it that way and we had three in a row against the A-10, but that just kind of happened. And the Atlantic 10 is a very good league. They're a multiple bid league to the NCAA tournament most years, so we know their strength of schedule is high. We know the caliber and the quality of the players and teams that we face. So having another opportunity against UMass on Thursday night is, is fantastic for us. This is all just in preparation for your conference season though, right? You're trying to fine tune along the way. Yeah, we want to get better every day. That's what we talk about the guy with the guys. We say, never get too low, never get too high, just keep getting better. And this time of the year, everyone's trying to get better. Everyone will get better across the country. So if we stay the same, we're, we're in effect not helping our cause. And, we want to get better every day in September. We want to challenge ourselves with these good non-conference opponents home and away so that when we do kick off the conference season at Stony Brook, we feel like we're as good as we can be at that point. Uh, who's playing well for you guys right now? We have a lot of guys playing well. We've, we've been a little banged up with injuries, but it's a testament to our squad, the depth that we have and the, the quality that's in there. Leo Melgar scoring two goals for us in, in the last two games has been great. Obviously, you need the goals. Carlos Clark, a freshman out of Teaneck, New Jersey, has stepped into the team, and he scored the game winner down at George Mason and really had a good performance overall. We've had great performances across the back line. Two shutouts in a row is something to be pleased of, and we've needed more than just four guys for that because of a couple of injuries. We also have great attacking talent on the field, and, and I really think that once we start getting in a rhythm and get, get goals going in for us, we're going to see continuation of that success and the growth of those players. I remember talking to you at the end of last year and just how excited you were to have some of these returners come back. Those guys who are coming back and are tenured uh, under you in, in, at UAlbany, have they uh, met your expectations so far? Absolutely. I mean, we have 16 guys in their third or fourth year wow. of college, and that's a tremendous asset to any team. You're talking about guys who there isn't anything they haven't seen, anything they haven't experienced, anywhere they haven't been. So with that comes a maturity and I think you see it in our team day to day on the practice field when we're in matches, certain situations, how we handle them. Just that confidence, that leadership, that ability to adapt is, is really valuable and any coach would tell you that you love to have that kind of experience on your team. This is almost an unfair question because it's, it's so early in the season, but uh, is, this, is this your favorite team that you've had so far here at your time at UAlbany? You can't say favorite because every team is different. I think each year we've continued to get better. It's our deepest team. Uh, it's possibly our most talented team. Whether it proves to be our most successful team or not remains to be seen, but I've enjoyed every one of the teams that I've worked with here, and this, this one certainly is no different. It's, it's enjoyable to go to practice every day. It's fun to be on the road trips. It's a good time to talk with them about things on and off the field. So we really just enjoy each other. We enjoy the company, and we're trying to enjoy the journey. So great team to be around, and I think it reflects in the way we play. You have UMass coming into town this Thursday. Doubleheader with the women, 5 and 7 o'clock. What do you know about UMass and what are your expectations for that game? UMass is going to come in here with a point to prove. They haven't had the great start to the season yet, but it's kind of that point in time after two weeks where any team that's had a slow start says, all right, let's circle the wagons, let's put maximum effort out there, and let's try to will our way to success. So we expect a very committed effort from them, a high level of intensity, a high work rate, and a group that's really trying to, to have success for the first time this season. So we're going to need to be sharp to deal with that. It should be an exciting night. Thursday night under the lights, the women play first. Hopefully they get a good win against Dartmouth and then we can follow that up against UMass. So calling all fans, come out on Thursday night and, and help us get there.
Absolutely. Thanks for giving us a couple minutes, and uh, best of luck on Thursday Night Football. Sounds good. We'll be there. All right. That'll do it for this week's edition of Coach's Corner. As always, you can catch us next week. We'll look back at the UMass match and, of course, look ahead to the rest of the schedule. For Trevor Gorman, I'm Zach Bai. We'll see you next time.